In this video, I'm going to show you one of the most important stages in web design. And this stage is building a wireframe. So before you start building your wireframe, what you need to do is to go to this website called 960.js and um, click on this download to download the grid system. If you want to see how the grid has been implemented on some of these websites, all you have to do is to scroll down and then click on this show grid. Then you can see how the website was set up. Okay, so once you've downloaded the, uh, the grid system, you'll get a folder on your desktop, which is a zipped folder. You double click on it to unzip. And then what you want to do is to open up the folder and go into templates. And then you go into Photoshop because we're going to use Photoshop in this example, right? So what I've done is I've opened up this 24 grid because there's uh, two other options, the 12 column grid and the 16. So I normally use the 24. Okay. The website I'm working on is uh, for a travel agency and uh, they do online bookings and advertise holidays. So let me show you what I came up with. What you need to do is you need to start adding lines and start blocking out where the information is going to go. So I'm going to start off with the background footer. That's the background for the content area and for the header area. So this is how I've sectioned out parts of how the website is going to look like. So this area in white is where I plan to have an image. So I'm going to have an image that's going to span across the whole background. Okay. So now we need to start adding the details on these sections. So we start off with the footer. So here we have our terms and conditions, refund policy, insurance, support, and contact us. And then I also intend to have social media buttons. That's Facebook, Twitter, and so on. Okay. So then we move on to the affiliations. Now this is uh, the companies that this company is going to be working with. And then we're going to move on to the secondary um, content. So here, this is where we have uh, the monthly deals. So this is sort of like an accordion, which will have the deals highlighted here. And then if you click this button, it'll just cycle through the rest of the deals for that month. All right on the right here, we're going to have a testimonial. All right, so let's go on to the main content. On the main content, we're going to have the featured holidays here on this uh, on this space. So this is where we have like the massive picture of the holidays, even a video. And then we uh, move on to the left side. This is where we're going to have the uh, the holiday search. OK, so finally we have the header. So this is where we're going to have the logo and this is where we're going to have the navigations and the chat support. So if I hold on the control colon, this is where you have all these guides come up. So what you need to do to for you to get these guides, all you have to do is to click on this ruler and just pull down. So this is how you would add a guide to your canvas. If this ruler is not there, all you need to do is to press Command R. That brings the ruler. OK, let me show you how I draw these shapes, these rectangles. So all I do is I come here to the uh, to the rectangle tool and then I'll draw the shape like this making sure that it falls within the grid. And then if you want to change the color, what I normally do is I'll come here to the layers, double click, and then I will change the color here. So as you can see, the color is changing on my canvas. So in a nutshell, this is how I design my wireframes before I send this out to a client. Okay, so that's it in this video. I hope you've learned something from this and see you in the next video.